Good job! Good day, students. It's been a long time. Welcome back to our science class. First of all, I would like to congratulate everyone because we are now halfway completing grade 9 science. We are now in quarter 3, which is about Earth science. Good job, class, for making it here. Today's topic will be focusing on volcanic eruption. Perfect. Check out our learning objectives. First, differentiate between active and inactive volcanoes. Second, explain what happened when volcanoes erupt. Week 2 topic is very interesting. Before we start, let us have a short review about our previous lesson. Let us have word scramble. Identify the word being described by the following statements and arrange the jumbled letters. The first word is These are natural opening in the earth's surface where molten rocks, smoke, gases, and ashes are ejected. The correct answer is That's right! Volcano The second word It is a funnel-shaped depression at the top of a volcano formed as a result of explosive eruption. The correct answer is Very good, crater. Third word It is a volcanic crater that is formed when a part of the wall of the crater collapses following an explosive eruption. Correct class The correct answer is caldera. Next these are molten rocks inside the earth. The correct answer is Excellent! Magma Last word Magma that has been ejected out of a volcano is called Lava That is right class! Good job! And good work! It seems that you really understand our last lesson. Let us proceed to our lesson proper. Look at the picture shown in your screen right now. Are you familiar with this image? This is the breathtaking scenery at Taal Lake in the Philippine island of Luzon, specifically in Batangas. Nowadays, this volcano shows a volcanic activity. The Philippines is known for its diverse natural resources and picturesque sceneries like mountains and volcanoes. Having this in the country is not surprising because the Philippines is situated or part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, which are characterized by frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Most active volcanoes on Earth are located at the circumference of the Pacific Ring of Fire. And again, Philippines is included. Did you know that our country has more than 100 of volcanoes? As of 2014, making us known as the home of many volcanoes. There are several ways by which volcanoes can be classified. One of these is according to its record of eruption. So, let's have the first classification. It is called active volcano. It is a volcano that has had at least one record of eruption during the past 10,000 years, meaning it had erupted and had shown volcanic activity. An active volcano might be erupting or dormant. When we say dormant, it is an active volcano 
that is not erupting but supposed to erupt again. And according to Phoebox, there are 24 active volcanoes in the country. Aww. That is a lot class, right? And I have listed the 24 active volcanoes in the Philippines and their location. Take a look on these volcanoes. On the other hand, we can also classify volcano as inactive volcano and they are also called extinct or sleeping volcanoes. It is one that could erupt but has not erupted for more than 10,000 years. They are expected to erupt again at some point despite being dormant for thousands of years Inactive does not necessarily indicate that the volcano will not erupt again. One good example is Mount Pinatubo. Did you know that before? Mount Pinatubo was an inactive volcano, however, it erupted in year 1991. And the type of eruption had was the Plinian eruption, which is the most excessively and explosively eruption. Therefore class, an inactive volcano or extinct volcano can still be an active volcano. Here are some of the inactive volcanoes in the Philippines. Now the question is, how does the magma form? The earth center is believed to be extremely hot. The melting of mantle and crust can form magma. This magma can push through holes or cracks in the crust causing volcanic eruptions. When magma is ejected out of the volcano, it is called lava. When it cools, it solidifies and it is called igneous rocks. Next question is, how are volcanoes formed? Magma can rise when pieces of earth crust called tectonic plates slowly move away from each other. Magma also rises when these tectonic plates move toward each other. A final way that magma rises over a hot spots. Hot spots are exactly what they sound like. Hot areas inside the earth. When we say hot spots, there are fixed places within the mantle or oceanic lithosphere where rocks melt to generate magma. When a hotspot is situated in the oceanic lithosphere, a class of volcanoes known as shield volcanoes is built. These are constructed on the deep ocean floor 
and may be built high enough to rise above sea levels as volcanic islands. Next, let's take a look in the process of volcanic eruption. Magma inside the volcano has a high temperature. As the magma is continuously heated, it goes up. As magma rises, gas bubbles are developed, pressure inside the volcano increases due to trap bubble within it. When pressure exceeds the strength of overlying rocks, fracturing occurs resulting in a further drop in pressure which in turn enhanced or even more gas bubbles are formed and then magma is ejected out as lava. Now, let us discuss the volcano alert level given by the Philippine Institute of Volcanology, Seismology, or FIBOX. Alert level 0 means quiet or no alert. No eruption on foreseeable future. Alert level 1 means low level of volcanic unrest. No eruption imminent. Alert level 2 means increasing unrest. Magma may rise from the Earth's crust, leading to possible volcanic eruption. Alert level 3, magmatic unrest, meaning may include seismic swarms, changes in temperature, building activity. Alert level 4, hazardous eruption imminent accompanied by lava fountaining or lava flows. Now that we know the different alert levels of volcano, let's have some precautionary measures before and during volcanic eruption. First, listen to the radio for updates. Second, Prepare emergency supply kits such as food, bottled water, flashlight, batteries, and many more. Third, prepare dust mask or clean cloth for covering your nose and goggles for your eyes. Fourth, it is very important also that you know the location of the evacuation area and lastly, you have emergency plan. How about during a volcanic eruption? What are we going to do? First, stay calm. Don't panic. Cover your mouth or nose with damp, clean cloth, or dust mask. Second, close all windows and doors or any entrance of your house. Third, it is very important that you are going to listen to the radio for updates or watch news about the developments regarding the volcanic eruptions. Fourth, if you are driving vehicle, pull to the side of the road and stop if there is a heavy asphalt. Fifth, if you are outside, you may look for a shelter. And lastly, wash all fruits and vegetables thoroughly before eating and cover containers of food to avoid contaminations from ash. That ends our discussion. But before we end up, let's have a short quiz. Letter A. Identify the given names of a volcano if it is an active or inactive volcano. Number 1. Iraya in Batanes. Number 2. 
Taal Volcano in Batangas. Number 3, Mayon in Albay. Number 4, Tamburo in Leyte. And number 5, Batuan in Sorsogon. And letter B, identify the given situations if they are precautionary measures under before eruption or during eruption. Number 1, stay calm, don't panic. Number 2, prepare an emergency plan. Number 3, if you are outside, you may look for a shelter. Number 4, prepare emergency supply kits. And number 5, prepare dust mask and goggles. All right, let's check your answers. Be honest in checking your answer class. And for me to know your scores, you may comment it below. Thank you.